Arizona may soon be home to a brand new lake. And that body of water would pack a big punch when it comes to powering the valley. The lake will be built here in this deep canyon just near Roosevelt Lake, a little bit below it. Salt River Project just got the preliminary okay from the federal government to move forward. So we want to see this side of this future lake ourselves. All right, so this is the area we're talking about here. Exactly, right. right. You don't often hear about a plan to build an entirely new lake in Arizona. So this whole valley we're looking at right here will be underwater. That's correct, yep. Joseph Gardner shows us around what SRP hopes will be the site of a brand new lake on the Salt River. It's being built to help supply an increasingly power-hungry valley with electricity. It'd be wedged between two existing lakes. To orient you a little bit, uh, Roosevelt Lake is just up over here on the other side of this hill. And Apache Lake is uh, immediately to our left over here. So, so we go Roosevelt, this new unnamed lake, and then Apache down here and the water right, will flow right through. Exactly. The lake is designed to be a reliable source of clean power. This SRP animation shows how it would work. With a depth of some 300 feet, water would rush at high speed over electric turbines during the late afternoon and early evening. That's when power demand is at its highest. It would produce enough electricity to potentially power hundreds of thousands of homes. And then, during the early part of the next day, when power demand is low, cheap solar energy would be used to pump all that water right back into the lake, and the process would start all over again. So if everything goes smoothly and SRP gets its way, within a decade, where I'm standing will be some 300 feet underwater. This brand new lake all behind me here. But don't get out your fishing pole, your ski boat just yet. Because the, the, the lake levels would fluctuate, you know, hundreds of feet, it's an area that we wouldn't necessarily encourage recreation within. Uh, but uh, folks would be welcome to recreate around the facilities. So at any given time during the day, the surface of this lake could go up and down 100 feet? Exactly. That's a lot of water. That's correct, yeah. Think about that. And because it's uh, so steep and so deep, the lake could provide six times as much power than is generated right now on the current other Salt River lakes, powering hundreds of thousands of homes. So if everything goes as planned, it could be finished in about eight years. I have much more on this story, including the raw interview of our tour on 12 plus. So go there and find the Troy Hayden report section to see more on that.